Delta's new offer isn't all that appealing. Delta announced yesterday that, starting next week, certain types of text messaging will be free on all Wi-Fi-enabled flights. That means users of Imessage, Facebook Messenger, and WhatsApp will no longer have to brave two and a half hours of radio silence between liftoff and touchdown. Switch on Wi-Fi, open the app, and there you go the group text is waiting for your omg. As with all airline-related updates, the immediate question is is this, good we're used to air travel being how do I say this gently fucked with, not improved. Seats get closer together, status levels get harder and harder to reach, the food in coach gets remarkably less edible. But this one, this one feels like it's an objective improvement. Delta's going to let you text. For free. That's a wind, right? Here's the thing being in the air represents one of the last places we have absolute license to be out of reach. Everything else in your life has been retrofitted with connectivity even the New York City subway system is now mostly tapped into the cell networks, which is amazing, because literally everything else about it is broken. Yes, you can always turn your phone off and walk away. But do you have you ever it's a lot harder than it sounds. Which is why I kind of cherish flying. It makes the equation an economic one. Sure, I can check my email, but it's going to cost like $9 an hour, and odds are there's nothing in there that can't wait. When I weigh the cost against what he'll actually get out of it, it's almost never worth it. Sometimes, of course, it is. I have paid for my share of GoGo in-flight wireless. Every once in a while, it's a work-related necessity. Or you are just bored up there and want to send your friends photos of the jerk woes sleeping practically on your shoulder, and it can't dot wait. Until you land. There are reasons. But there are also reasons to hold on to the aptoftichness of the sky. Because, with the exception of those work emergencies we all have now and then, most of the time, if we're being honest, it can wait. And most of the time, so can the texts. And if it's free, we're not going to make it wait. We're just going to do it. And then it will be one more place where there's no reason to do anything except absent-mindedly look at our phones, waiting for them to alert us to something. I saw an ad the other day for the new Apple Watch. The pitch was stay connected, even when you're away from your phone. This is what the tech world wants for every single second to be one that they can participate in, somehow. That's their whole thing find the places you're not using their technology and fix them. In Silicon Valley, to fix something is simply to figure out a way to reroute it through their bank accounts. I'm not a Luddite. I like my iPhone. I enjoy the group text. You'd be a much less productive person without the three or four apps that work in concert to keep me on task. But when it comes to the relationship between me and my phone, I want to be the one in charge. And I bet that's true of most people. I don't want to feel beholden to it. And I don't want to prop up the idea that anyone can reach me whenever they want. And I certainly don't want to keep inventing reasons why I should not put it down. Right now, the airplane seat is one of the last places it's still really easy to put the phone down. No one expects you to respond to anything while you are mid-flight. That's been chipped away at a lot over the last few years, and it's just going to get worse. So it's up to us to keep with you off, even when it's free. Because we should be allowed to stay just out of reach, if only for a few hours here and there. Let's hold on to this one last circumstance, where no one expects an immediate response. Not your boss, not even your friends. In this case, for no other reason than, just to prove we still can, 